Bob Maloney from MyMMANews.com, and I am talking to my man AT tonight, AT McCowan. AT has a fight coming up, a championship fight in the middleweight division, March 3rd, Ring of Combat in Atlantic City. I will be there with Al Iaquinta on the commentary. My man AT, listen, you're always one of my favorite interviews because you're always so happy and upbeat. How you feeling, man? I know you'll be smiling the whole time. I know it's always nothing but love and joy from you for a few minutes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I actually do enjoy fighting. I enjoy that uh, that that warrior spirit and that 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 uh, human conflict for uh, those couple moments. And then you know, we're both people. You know, we're both here to do a job. Uh, so right back to smiles and having a good time man uh yeah good good i know listen that's what you love to do listen i wanted to ask you because one of my guys that i love man and, and 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 i respect in the business and he doesn't get much love is larry edwards man talk talk to me a little bit about larry because listen this he's he's like this big teddy bear to me i love giving him a big hug and he's like you he smiles all the time such a great guy to have not just in the business but in your corner and as a friend who loves you man i love the guy talk to me a little bit about larry and what he's meant to you because i think the world of the guy oh yeah um Larry was pretty much my connecting point to uh, the MMA community once I got up here to Delaware. Uh, not sure if a lot of people know this, but I first originally got started my MMA career down in Florida. Uh, trained down there at a gym called First Coast Pool Contact for a while under um, Jamie Henderson. I'm sorry, Jamie. I'm terrible at names. Um, but I was training on uh, down there with those guys. And once I came up here, I was working for a little bit, wanted to get back into MMA. And Larry just embraced me with open arms. Um, and ever since then, it's just been, you know, the, the guidance that I needed. Uh, not only with martial arts and helping my grappling game get to where it needs to be at, but uh, more on the, uh, I'd say the gentle side of life. He, he's definitely shown me what it's, what it is to be a man in this field and how you can still be the aggressive of the aggressive, but still have that soft, gentle side where people can come connect to you and actually want to be around you. So I, I award, you know, uh, definitely Larry a whole lot with that, but of course my mom, my, my dad as well, they just did a great job raising me, I, I think. Well, listen, I was going to bring up your mom. The funny you said that because, listen, your mom, she, you know, she's there when you're fighting. You know what I mean? You hear her, you know, cheering and giving you support. She's not like some meek little woman. She's like, let's go. Let's I love it, man, when she's there. and she, she, you know what? She makes the crowd fun. So shout out to your mom for being a great fan. It's almost like she wants to be in there with you. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. If it was, uh, if they have a league out there where a son and mom could fight, oh, you, Pharrell would be right there. You know that. You know that. Matter of fact, you find out there who want to bring your mom to the cage. You know what? We can do a little father, a little father son or a little mother, mother son action. Yeah, I mean, let the moms go at it. Then we'll jump in right after that. <laughs> AT, you, listen, you've been pretty busy for the last couple of years with fights. So with this camp, did you do anything different? I mean, because you're coming off your first loss in a while. You were real successful. You had a tough loss. Um, so how has this camp been a little bit different? What guys have you what have you really concentrated on for this camp? You're taking on George Sullivan, who has a world of experience. He's a UFC veteran. Uh, you know, he's seen it all. So uh, I'm sure... You know, he's 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 seen everything. How have you guys, you know, attacked this fight camp? Uh, we attacked this fight camp by having uh, two of uh, two of my sparring partners. They're both about six, four each, both with really long, uh, really long reaches. Um, I had uh, Devontae Crawford and a guy named Ronald Daltrey. Uh, both of those guys are about six, three, six, four. So very long guys um, for the kickboxing aspect. Um of course, you know, I still got trouble in there, Tim, Tim Williams. And then for the uh, grappling aspect, uh, I have uh, Jules Ryland, um, known a little bit more on the wrestling scene and a uh, real strong wrestler, Tim Williams and Tr Trouble and Larry, all those guys trying to hold me down. So it will basically be 
go from a round of having these real long rangy fighters who are good at keeping me at, at, at bay, uh, trying to work my way past their range and, you know, get some my, my fighting range. And then uh, once I'd say about a minute or two of that, and then the next round is right in there with a hard grappler for the off chance that uh, we make him go to plan B and he decides to become a wrestler. Um, we know that's that's my quote unquote weak point. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's still a weak point at this point, but um, it's just going back and forth with those guys. My team has stayed on me and then uh, with trouble with Trouble's most recent fight, we turned up the wrestling even harder. So, uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling prepared. How about that? I'm feeling prepared. Well, that's awesome. Listen, like I said, man, you're in the middle of camp. You're, you know, starting, you know, you're, you're not eating, you know, all the, all the good stuff, all the carbs right now. So, we just it's Super Bowl weekend, too. Ah. No, oh man. So, like I said, I knew AT would bring a smile to my face. He's always in a good mood, no matter what, man. And that's one of the things I love about you. Another thing I love about you is your style. Like you were just saying, Plan B for him would be to turn it into wrestling, which is, you know, why fans love to watch you fight, even though you've been training, like you said, a lot of grappling and wrestling. You want to go there and you want to throw hands, and it's an exciting style and. uh yeah, yeah. Listen, you you're about going in there and and putting a show on for the fans, which is hey, listen, I, I I'm I'm I love it. You know, I'm going to be cage side with Ally Quinta, and I, I we're going to be excited for your fight. I'm looking forward to seeing it and talking about it. And like I said, this is George's. You know. It's his retirement fight. So I think, I don't know how you think about that. I think a lot of times when you're thinking about retirement and you're thinking about your fight, I don't know if that, you know, will come into play with George. But like I said, he's a veteran and a tough dude. And, you know, I'm looking for a good fight, man. This might be fight of the night. What do you think? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, George definitely has that type of style um, where he's looking to put on volume. Uh, so I don't really see it being a lackadaisical fight because as soon as I let off the gas, I know George is going to be right there on me. So I think it makes for a really exciting fight for the fans. Uh, definitely makes an exciting fight for me. I'm going, I'm going to be all, all uh, ear to ear with smiles. Like, let's go. As well as uh, this is my first time really getting to fight somebody with a whole lot of experience. Right. Um, so I have, uh, oh, ooh, uh, 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 yeah. I also have a, uh, Ah, oh, good grief. What is Jordan's last name? Goodness. Old, old school pride fighter we have in the gym. Jordan, oh my God. I wish I was, I, I, I need to start writing down names before I get it here. <laughs> okay, uh, Coach JD, um, old school wrestler, uh, probably fourth or fifth, probably even higher, higher than that degree black belt because I don't think he actually wears all his stripes at this point. But uh, we had him and Tim, Tim in there. Uh, those two guys got a lot of experience and they've been some of my primary, uh, my primary sparring and sparring partners. So I don't feel like I'm at a disadvantage with, with the experience aspect of it. Like, uh, yes, he has seen more guys and he has sauced up more guys than I have. Hell, he, he's sauced up more guys than I fought, but, uh, I'm I'm ready to just see what my experience level holds to with his. You know, I'm not even really taking into consideration that the, that it, this is his retirement fight. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully, uh, we can set it out on a good selling ship with me off off in the right direction, and you know, take some of that uh some of that uh, uh some of that steam behind his name, you know, help levitate me, but. Either way, it's still going to be a fun, a fun fight. Fun fight. I know with each guy I get in there with, I gain something. Um, you know, before Troy, my last last loss was to Fawn Chukwi, who's now in the UFC. Um, maybe hasn't had the the greatest of fights the last couple of times, but he was still a really good dude, really good technical striker that leveled me up. Troy was a real good counter striker which I feel like was getting me ready, you know, um, which was getting me ready for this line of the story where I'm also going to be dealing with another long counter striker. 
great. I know how to deal with it a little bit better now that I've actually been in there with them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just just hey, excited to do my thing. You're on, like I said, you're working on everything. You take with hey, listen, experience. I, I love to hear the, you know what you took out from that fight against Troy Green because Troy Green's a great fighter, and you know, like you said, my man just won another 85 title. Uh, I forgot what the name of the promotion was, but again, the underdog. My man just went out there uh, home to hometown. Uh, the, the other guy was hometown court. You know, went into his territory, brought home the belt. So shout out to you, Troy. You still out there grinding, boy. Like my motherfucking man. Stop sleeping on Troy Green. You know what I mean? Stop. Absolutely. Stop. Listen. Before we roll, my man AT, give some shout outs or to some love to anybody you want. If you have any sponsors, anybody who's, you know, giving you that extra push outside of the cage, the time is yours. Give some love out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, we weren't able to land any real good, uh, well, any sponsorships on this fight. Uh, you know, uh, you guys had your time. Hopefully, you'll, you'll see the light soon. Uh, um. But no, I I, I want to shout out my uh, of course my team, all the guys at 302. We definitely want to show love to them. All the guys over at uh, Ring Combat, big love to you guys. I really appreciate all you guys putting on uh, the show that you put on. You of course, Bob, giving me the stage, my MMA news. I appreciate you guys. And last but not least, I want to uh, give a shout out to my to uh, both uh, Jules Ryland and Furman. Uh, they are my mechanics. They have been working hard to get my car back on the road. So I just want to shout you guys out. Big up yourselves. A to Z, uh, A to Z Auto Shop out in uh, out here in Bear, Bear, Delaware. So shout them out. Who else? Who else? Let's see. Uh, D Mall Art. I appreciate you, Delana. Always keep my website up to date. Uh, uh, Brian Oliveira, I believe that's your last name. I forgot the name of your uh, video company, but I appreciate you guys. Um, hell yeah, with yeah photography, appreciate you. And last but not least, uh, oh gosh, 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 it's going to come to me later. But I'll shout, I'll shout at everybody else uh, on the YouTube page. Big up everybody. You know, it's so many of you guys that's out there that's helped me. I, I get lost with, with trying to keep up with the names, but I genuinely appreciate all of you guys. I am in a, fi- you know, uh, not in a little bit of a financial crunch at the moment, but my team is still working with me. No one's uh, really charging me anything at the moment. Everybody's just doing it for love, and I appreciate all of you guys. Well, AT man, I'm glad to hear you got a team like that and you got the love coming. I love what you do. Keep working hard. Thank you for making me enjoy what I do. I mean, I, not just with these fun interviews, but going out there and leaving it in the cage. I know that every ounce of effort that you have is going in when you go into that cage. And I know when you leave, you left everything in there and that's, what's great about the sport. That's why I love the sport. Love you like a brother, man. Best of luck to you. you Great talk to you. After I get this win, no commentary on the mic. I need you to bark. I needed to bark up in that hook. I I, I want everyone barking. That's including you and and stop all students. I'm also doing the post fight interview. So, you know, you get the post fight interview, you get the belt around. I guess we're going to have to have a group bark. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Tell Al I want the same thing from him. <laughs> Tell Al I want the same thing from him. No now, commentary. We're going straight to barking. Straight to barking. Now you're, you're going to have me practice in my bark. <laughs> yes, sir. We got to turn it to the doghouse. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. I'm trying to do something with this. A.T. McCallum, check him out at 302. Check him out on Instagram. Check him out on Facebook. Young, exciting fighter. A.T., always a pleasure. We will talk to you soon, my man. Get, get I appreciate this. you, Bob.